Okay, welcome, and in this video we're going to introduce the idea of prefixes in the metric system. So the prefix that we attach to the standard unit is what tells us whether we're going to be bigger than one or smaller than one. And since it's a base 10 system, it basically is telling us how many decimal places to the left or the right are we going. Uh, for example, so we have a standard unit here. These are the prefixes we would um, add depending on what power of 10 we're multiplying by. Okay, so if we're one power of 10, that could, that's going to be a deca. Think about, uh, so if I wanted the unit was gram and I wanted 10 grams, that would be one decagram. If I wanted, uh, if I was talking about grams and I wanted 100 of those, then that would be one hectogram. And then kilo means 1,000. So these prefixes tell us what we're going to multiply by. So deca means 10, hecto means 100 and kilo is a thousand. And then we have our standard unit, which is in the ones place. Now if we want to go smaller by, by uh, powers of 10, so we're going to be dividing by powers of 10, so we're going to go smaller. Okay, so if we're talking about grams, and I am talking about one-tenth of a gram, that's a decigram. If I'm talking about one one-hundredth of a gram, that's a centigram. And then a milligram is one one thousandth of a gram. Okay, and so that's these are the most common uh, prefixes that we can attach to the standard unit to tell us what we're dealing with, whether we're dealing with bigger units or whether we're dealing with smaller units. Now, um, incidentally, these uh, prefixes come from the Greek. These are Greek uh, prefixes. These are uh, Roman. Uh, prefixes. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was interesting. But yeah, these, these are Greek and these are um, Roman. Or Latin, if you will. These are the, so these are Latin and these are Greek. Okay. And of course the decimal point would go right here. That's why I wrote that dot there. So this would be the decimal point, so you can see the place values that these go in either direction. Um, and so next we'll do some examples. 